Wednesday the 4th of September and we're still here at Napton. We're just getting a little bit of a wash on, a laundry. Because we're going to drop through the last lock here at Napton, down to the services. Well, I hope we are. There's boats everywhere. Honestly, it's like Piccadilly Circus here. They're everywhere. So we're hoping to get on these services and then we're not sure where we're going to get to today. Um, as far as possible, we need to be somewhere by Saturday the 7th. We should easily do it, but the rain is forecast tomorrow all day. It's probably wrong, it's going to be about 80 degrees tomorrow, you watch. But it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow, so we want to make headway today. Right, let's get going again. So Nikki's just walking down the first of four locks today, we are hoping. There's the first lock immediately in front of us. The first lock for us and the last lock of the Napton flight. Uh, but we do have Hillmorton a little bit further on, if we get that far. He's just opened the gate, so we're in. Blimey, it's a nice morning. It is a lot warmer today, but it went cold yesterday. We had to light the fire, and it was hysterical how much smoke came out the chimney. Um, it was like uh, something out of old London town, the canal yesterday. But it's nice and warm today, but it did dry the washing yesterday. That was a bonus. As we come out of this lock, on the right hand side there's a services, rubbish, Elsan, water, the lot. So obviously we are going to use it, we've done a couple of loads of washing up there in that little pound. It came in handy and we've got a nice afternoon, I hope, to get the washing line out and dry it. But we're looking forward to the cruise, but we're sad in a way because we're going back to familiar waters. Once we get to Napton Junction area, we know those waters. Sometimes it's nice to get back to a bit of familiarity, a little bit. Here we go. So, we're moored up, and there comes the rubbish. But, I got it wrong. There's no water tap here. We thought this little uh, paddle operator thing here was a water point. It isn't. There's an Elson point here and there's bins here. So we'll move across for the water. So just a little move under the bridge and on the port side is the water point and also on the port side just up that little lane there is the Folly. It's an old uh, canal side pub. And it's a lovely place too. At yet another water point. Yes, the Folly. What a lovely pub. Uh, Martin, our friend, came down to uh, say hello yesterday. And it stinks here, a dog poo, I've got to say. Isn't that revolting? Why don't people pick it up? Um, yeah, Martin came down and we went in the folly just to say we'd been. What a charming little place. Loads of little antiquities around. Interesting things to see. They do have a lot of live music there as well. And that shows there's musical instruments all over the place. I believe the landlord's son does the odd bit of music there. I don't know. Don't quote me. But it was lovely. And we walked up to the shop as well. If you go over the bridge. Uh, that bridge there, if you can walk over the bridge, half a mile, you walk into Napton itself. Charming little village. Got a brilliant shop. Sells everything from jewellery to pot noodles. It's got everything in it. Um, it is a bit of an uphill walk, but it's not bad. Right, let's get filled with water and let's get going again. That's the water done.
There's a new build house up there. Reminds me of the Psycho movie. Stuck on the hill. Napton narrow boats to our starboard side. If you remember, we had to stop in there to get some repairs done for our uh, whale pump, our gully pump for the shower. So that means new waters for us are done. It's been an adventure. I hope you've enjoyed it all the way down the Grand Union into Limehouse, out of Limehouse, up the tidal Thames, all the way to Letchlade, and then back up the South Oxford Canal. We've enjoyed it, I hope you have. It's a bit sad now not to see new waters, but as I said earlier, there's something comfortable about knowing where you are. And we're looking forward to the autumn and the winter, some of our favorite months on jugs. We do enjoy the winter, cuddling down and getting cozy. It's been a blast. And the lovely lady over there with a the car just shouted me to say she loves the video so thanks very much so here we are now at napton junction to the right there is the lovely aqua vista wigram's turn marina we called in there for some fuel very friendly helpful staff it's a lovely marina and then to the port side the left hand side of course takes you up to long itchington which we loved and up towards the hat and flight we're not going up there today. And we're just about to go past an unusual boat. It, it is getting done up, but this was here months ago when we were here, so sadly it must have a tale to tell. Certainly a project.
How are you? Yes, we're coming down this way again. Uh, the 21st of September, Wigram's Turn Marina, Aqua Vista. Uh, Waterside and Marina there at Wigram's Turn, which is right on Napton Junction. We're going back there. They're having a huge open day. There's going to be food and drink, food and craft stalls, floating traders there. So come and support the floating traders. And there's going to be boats for you to view and have a walk around and have a look at. It's going to be a cracking day. Uh, let's pray for nice weather. And you also get to meet the manager there, Mark. So we're looking forward to going. We always like going into Aqua Vista. Uh, so uh, there'll be more on it when we know a little bit more. But uh, get yourselves down there. 21st of September, Wigram's Turn Marina. It'll be good. And we'll see you there. Just in view now, just above the trees there, the familiar spire of the All Saints Church here in Braunston. We do love Braunston very much indeed. In fact, it's one of our favorite places, but we're not stopping there today. As I've said, uh, we need to be somewhere, and I'm sorry to be secretive. It's no big secret really, but we'll spill the beans soon. But we're meeting some very special people a little bit further up the canal. Here we are at uh, Braunston Turns now. Obviously you go to the town to the right. We're heading straight through today. So we're turning to the left. Beautiful old bridges here. Just give a toot on me horn. There's Midland Chandlers over there. And the water point and the services is just on the right hand side here if you need them but we're good today at me there, the duck. Uh, Wayne and Amanda on Narrowboat Spudley just went past. Uh, lovely, lovely couple, but I never had my camera ready, but hiya guys. Uh, check out their channel, we'll put a link below. They are very, very good. So we were just cruising along and noticed a boat just trying to moor up. Have a look who it is. It's Trev! Hey! <laughs> what are we doing guys? Alright mate, how are you? Good to see Gary and Nikki. <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah, filming me. You know that flag so he's supposed to be flying. Filming him. <laughs> <laughs> see you later Trev. Yeah, it's great to see Trev. Uh, check his channel out, Trev's Travels by Narrowboat. Uh, great channel, nice guy, Take so care. check him out. Bye, Take Trev. care, mate. Yeah, I'll hit him. <laughs> well, that was lovely to see Trev, wasn't it? It was, yeah. I'm going to crash. I've got to hold the camera in my left hand here and steer the boat. It's never easy, but we saw Trev last on Atherston flight. We put him through five of the locks or six of the locks at Atherston. Five, we, we six, feels six. Like ages ago, it does it? feel like ages ago, but we're trying to arrange to meet him. It'd be lovely to meet up with him again. And he's going to be in the area when we come back down to Wigram's turn. So it'll be good. Yeah, we'll see him again. Yeah, take a look at his channel. Please take a look. He, uh, he works hard on his channel. And he's just made 3,000 subscribers. And he is just a lovely guy to boot. So have a look and subscribe to his channel. 
It's so busy now. Boats are moving everywhere. When we stopped to see Trev, about eight boats went past. We just had a couple go past us in the other direction. We're following two, and there's another one coming towards us. It's nice to see boats moving. This has been as busy as we've seen it anywhere, to be honest, including the Grand Union. Uh, we haven't seen it this busy for, for quite some time. But it is nice to see the boats moving. And another one. <laughs> 